Hello and welcome to another Pony and Wolf Productions video. My name is Virgil Pony and today we are reading the story The Rain by Army Idiot. Now, this is a story that I've had in my read later list for quite a while, but I've never really come around to reading it. Um, we will see where this is going. I'm actually kind of intrigued, but yeah, as always, have a list of those amazing people who keep this channel alive with their monthly donations. And enable us to buy food and toys for our cat overlord. I mean, who needs food, you know? Who, uh, or warmth or anything uh, when you have a cat and uh, an overlord and a loving overlord who of course treats us well and who completely is loved and, you know, does not completely wish to destroy us all and uh, make felines the dominant race of this planet. Anyhow, um... Sincerely yours, Virgil Pony, and let's get in the, into the meat of the story, because I'm fairly certain that I am creeping you out right now. It was raining. Twilight Sparkle knew this and took full advantage of it. A warm mug of chocolate, a blanket and pillow, a crackling fireplace, and curling up in a large window sill was an old favorite novel. The perfect way to enjoy the rain. It doesn't need melancholy or grief for rain to mean something. It can be relaxing, soothing, lulling even. And she knew all of this, as well as Spike, who Celestia bless him decided to do a bit of pleasure riding. He curled up beside the fireplace, in his own blanket with his own pillow and a mug of hot chocolate as well. The sounds of his scratching with the quill Peewee had given him combined sublimely with the already soft cacophony of soothing noises. The pony had always enjoyed the rain. Ever since she was but a filly in Cantalot, the rain just calmed her and helped her think. She knew it would end in disaster, but some days she just wanted it to rain forever. There was always something just... magical about it. And not magical like how she used her magic to take a sip of her chocolate, savoring the cream and marshmallows she put into it, but rather a kind of magical, a quiet magical, the type of magical that only happens when you accept what's happening and just enjoy it. That's the kind of magical it was to her. Owlicious was there too, but he was asleep. The owl enjoyed the rain just as much as the other two, especially since he now had a dry place to rest his head when it was pouring. He was sleeping on a luckily placed shelf on the alcove Twilight was in his eyes closed and his chest inflating and reducing every few seconds. A peaceful image. One she could have watched for hours if she felt so inclined. Twilight always felt as if the rain did more than just water crops and cool the planet down. She had a fun little theory that rain had a real medical property that allowed it to slow time down. She always joked about it, of course, but she also enjoyed pondering the theory on occasion as it seemed that rain just slowed the world down. It brought water, it brought cooler temperature, and it brought a slowness that only rain seemed to have. A sun-stricken day felt slow, but that was because it was a miserable one. A day filled with snow and the cold felt slow, but it always felt slow during winter. A day pouring with rain felt slow because... it just was. It slowed down, but the raindrops fell like leaves made of water and tranquility, striking the window in a pattern made nowhere else, no when else. Twilight pondered what else rain could do. It could make one feel down, disheartened, depressed. Melancholy, that's the word. The feelings evoked by rain could be just as dour as they could be relaxing. She remembered a few things her papa had told her when she was just a filly. If it rained while the sun was still shining, it was going to rain tomorrow as well. If it rained at night, you shouldn't stay up late. If it rained at a funeral, the angels above were mourning as well. She had heard many things from her papa, some not quite as friendly to her fellow ponies as others, but almost all of them had still stuck with her to some degree. 
One thing she always remembered though was from a time when she was just watching the rain with him, before she met Celestia and Spike. She was eight at the time, almost a year before she would take the entrance exam for the school. It was raining that day too, but not a droll, dreary day. It was a peaceful, quiet, relaxed day. Papa had a blanket that he had wrapped them both in and set on his hindquarters, using his forehoofs to hold twilight. They had to have spent two hours just sitting there, watching the rain fall against the glass of his house, the crackle of the hearth behind them as its glowing fire snapped and popped with heat. Sometimes he told her stories or gave her advice, but that day he was quiet. The only sign that he was more than a statue being the rise and fall of his chest. If she was honest, Twilight missed those days, when there wasn't the pressure of being the princess's personal student, or being the greatest magical prodigy this century, or being an element of harmony. Oh, make no mistake, she dearly loved her friends, but some days they were more trouble than she thought worth putting into. Luckily, today was quiet on all fronts. Her friends not needing her that day, she dearly hoped they didn't need her at some point at that day, and Ponyville itself being the quiet, relaxing town its ruralness seemed to promise. It was only just past two, yet pondering with the rain and listening to its repeated taps on the window with the crackling of the fireplace and scratching of Spike's quill was a slowly lulling twilight to sleep. To be fair, she had been reading for a few hours at this point and was growing fonder and fonder of the idea of just letting the rain take her away. Late night study sessions tend to not help one sleep after all. And so it was, setting a bookmark in her chosen novel, draining the last dregs of her chocolate and curling up facing towards the window, Twilight fell asleep. Spike set his quill down and got up in preparation to stretch his short legs and refill his mug of chocolate. He also took the time walking to the kitchen to massage his hand, now aching and slightly sore from doing nothing but writing for the past hour and a half. As he refilled his drink, his gaze wandered towards Twilight, who he now noticed was asleep in her windowsill. He set his mug on the countertop and waddled to her place of rest reaching over to fluff her pillow and take the mug of chocolate she had finished. He laid a kiss on her forehead, just under her horn, and said, Sleep well, Twilight. The rain continued to pour. Author's Note I'm back. Once again it is time for comment time with me, Luna, the comment kitty. Please remember that the links down in the description help support Pony and Wolf Productions and enable my humans to buy me awesome snacks and toys. Oh, and sometimes some food for them as well, but only after I've had my fill. So, what do I think of this story? It's a story after my own heart. Just lounging around and enjoying what I like best, doing nothing. That is what I love. That said, now go away, I wanna take a nap.